I'm down in Atlanta to meet a true pioneer in her sport. Aisha McGowan is blazing a new trail in cycling and bringing others with her along the way. Aisha is poised to become the first African-American woman to be a pro cyclist. I can't wait to hear her story. This is Fast and Fearless. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, thanks for having me. Yeah. When I started racing, I found that there hadn't been any African-American women that had competed on a professional level. So my goal is to be the first ever African-American female professional road cyclist, and that's just part of the bigger mission of creating more positive representations for black women and people of color in cycling. Ah, so this is the den. This is like your happy place. I guess I always wanted a space where I could kind of like compile everything and, mm -hmm. and now it's nice to have like a workstation. Okay, so rumor is I have to use my own power to move two wheels today. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the bike you're gonna ride? Wow. I'm used to riding like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not quite the same. Yeah. I think this is more like we'll call it aggressive position. Yeah, yeah, I've never ridden like a really like nice bike before. I only ever rode my mom's like old Trek that she had, you know, from the 70s. So this looks fast and fancy. So, you know, you haven't been cycling like that long, right? Not so? competitively. Yeah. I've been like riding as an adult for about 12 years this year. 12 years? Yeah. And what got you into it? I needed a way to get to class that wasn't mm -hmm. public transportation, and so one of my friends suggested I ride a bike, and yeah. I did that, and it was great. So in competitive cycling, as an African-American woman, you're one of the first. Yeah, I mean, there have been other, you know, black women, African-American women on, like, the amateur level, mm -hmm. but there haven't been any professional road cyclists, mm -hmm. so I'm hoping to be the first woman to do it, and that'll be really cool. Positive representations for people of color have always been very important to me, and cycling was something that was very, I guess, natural to me, and it's always brought me a lot of joy, and so it felt like a really nice opportunity to combine those two passions of representation and cycling, and I feel like it's super important to create positive representations, especially in places where people don't expect them. But yeah, it's not a super diverse landscape <laughs> in the in the competitive cycling community. Yeah. And why do you think that is? I think it's mostly about representation and access. Mm -hmm. I think because no one else has already done it. So for you being one of the first, I mean, where did your inspiration come from then? I just really liked riding bikes. And when I first started racing bikes, I really, really had a good time. And representation for people of color and black women has always been really important to me. So it seemed like a really good space for me to like combine both of these interests and like, I guess make a difference, make a change somewhere. It's very inspiring to hear that because I understand the struggle as a female in a very male dominated industry, just the need to have women to look up to and to aspire to. And I was lucky enough to have a few of those. And in the cycling world, especially for women of color, there really aren't any. So what Aisha is doing is incredibly important. What I love about cycling is that anybody can do it. Like there's not a type of person that can ride a bike and cycling doesn't always mean the same thing to everybody. Like for me, I really enjoy racing. And for some people, that's something that they would never do, but they enjoy commuting or they en enjoy working on bikes and repairing bikes or building bikes, or there's just so many different ways you can enjoy it. One of my biggest goals is to change this perception of what a cyclist looks like or what someone who enjoys a bike looks like because we have this image in our head because of how the industry has portrayed it for so long. I can definitely relate to you on that because there's a big misconception in the motorcycle world that you have to be, you know, this big burly guy to handle, you know, a Harley. And that's so not true. It's the physics and it's about having fun. Right. And just like in cycling, there's a misrepresentation of women in motorcycles as well but now we're seeing more and more and so I'm having more girls come up to me and like oh I can try this like I can do this there's actually a pretty good movement of like women of color on motorcycles too I did try and get a, a motorcycle license but I didn't study for the test and so it didn't pass oh, gosh. <laughs> well once you do and you find yourself out in Utah come find me right. and we will go ride yeah. <laughs> it'll be so much fun <laughs> speaking of should we go pedal these around sure you gonna go smoke me <sighs> kick my butt Not at all. <laughs> with these because the saddle is like the proper height, mm -hmm. you want to start riding before you sit down. So you don't want to sit down and then try and start riding. Oh yeah, we'll probably just tip over, right? Yeah. 
So you put one foot on and then since we're on a downhill, you can just start to coast and then you can sit. Okay. And do you like your hands here usually? So these are the hoods. Mm -hmm. These are the drops. You don't need to use those today. <laughs> so we're going to leave our hands mostly in the hood so we have access to our brakes. Okay. If you brake, brake evenly. You don't want to brake front, which is your left hand, mm -hmm. and fly over handlebars. That's never a good, <laughs> my mom's done that. Not pretty. Yep. So you want to brake evenly so both wheels stop at the same okay. time. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. There you go. Oh yeah. How's that feel? That feels good. Heck yeah. Dude, that was awesome. Thank you so much. No problem. And it was really cool to hear your story just about all the influence that you want to do and representing women, especially women of color. And Appreciate that. And like I said, if you ever uh, ever come out to Utah, I'll we'll show you how to ride a motorcycle. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Promise? Deal. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Perfect.